I, Nathan, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife. I, Nathan, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Jennifer, take you, Nathan, to be my husband. I, Jennifer, take you, Nathan, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. But God is joined. No one must divide. <clears throat> Lord, bless and consecrate Nathan and Jennifer in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Jennifer, take this ring. Jennifer, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Of a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Nathan, take this ring. Nathan, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. stand for prayer. <clears throat> we have listened to the word of God. Now let's ask God to listen to us, to bless our words of prayer which we offer for people in our world today. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of church and state, for heads of homes and households, that they will lead us and guide us in the search for God and the good life, in the search for peace and joy, in the search for love among us, we pray to the Lord. For all married people, for those who married yesterday, for this new couple Jennifer and Nathan married today, for those who will marry tomorrow, that they may savor the joy of being together, warm love and children, a long life and friends, and a new day every day, we pray to the Lord. For all young single people who look forward to a vocation full of life and full of love, we pray to the Lord. For the lonely old and the lonely rich, uh, for the sick in body, mind, and spirit, for the weakness in all of us, let us pray to the Lord. For our relatives and friends who walk with us on life's journey, and for those who have gone before us to the other side of life, for the fulfillment of all their unfulfilled desires, we pray to the Lord. These are our words of prayer today for ourselves and all human beings. Tomorrow there will be others. 
Lord God, the beloved of humankind who has first loved us, give our words by your listing the power of your word, so that all things may be accomplished sweetly and gently for the happiness of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let's now pray as the Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Dear friends, let us ask God for his continued blessings upon Jennifer and Nathan. <laughs> Loving God, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life. We humbly pray to you today for Nathan and Jennifer, united in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon them both, so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love, and enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witness in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for our friends Jennifer and Nathan whom you have gathered together and joined together in marriage. Keep them close to you always. May their love for all the world proclaim to all the world their faith in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> May Almighty God, with this word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. May your children bring you happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. May the peace of Christ always live in your hearts and in your home. May you have two friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your life. But may your heart's first desire be always the good things waiting for you in the life of heaven. May the Lord bless you with many happy years together, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have served him loyally in his kingdom on earth, may he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There will be no receiving line here in church, so. Uh, you can uh, uh, just follow the parents out uh, after the recessional. I'm happy now to present to you Nathan and Jennifer Feeding. 